we went from a completely hierarchical website with lots of menus and submenus and menus and submenus and so on to an almost entirely flat um, website, which meant, of course, the context of all the articles was completely wiped out because the each article was, uh, say, if it was black 19th century history, it might be theatre, theatre history, uh, black theatre history, 19th century black theatre history, So, and down there will be, you know, a page that just says index.htm, but if you take all that context out, it's just a page. So uh, effectively, every page had to be reread re and retitled and ma made sense of. But the other big thing we did was we classified all the content. So we, we, we developed a lightweight tagging schema um, that was a bit more than just keywords, but so it, it was author technique and things like that. So there were six fields that we did plus a free text field. And every single page that we migrated, we also then uh, turned into, uh, well, we classified with this tagging. So that effectively meant that we could then couple it up with data from other systems. And that we've slowly been sort of working on as well. So, and that was the, the biggest change, really. The problem with having a flat website or a website with no real hierarchy in it is how do you know what's in it? Um, so the, the, the basic problem with that, though, is it's assuming that you're looking in your website. And that was fundamentally the difference between the old website and the new website. And the new website was saying, people don't look in our website, they all come from Google. So 75, well, 65 to 75 percent, depending on the um, traffic. And quite a lot of them come deep in from social media as well. So it depends if you've got a campaign on, you'll get the higher traffic from like David Bowie. He's got an awful lot of social traffic coming in compared to normal. But ultimately, they're not going to your site and then navigating down your menus because that's not what people do. They go straight to Google, they put in your search terms, and if you're lucky, they'll hit one of your pages. So if you've got good SEO and all that sort of stuff, people will land on your page and you have a few seconds of their attention span. Well, they look at it, they skim it, um, and then they decide what they want. So there's quite a, that's one simple sentence, but in that sentence, there's a lot of things. So can you actually skim your page? When, when you look at your page, does it A, look appealing, B, does it, is it obvious that the content is relevant? So what are the titles like? Are they relevant titles? Are, are, are they going to even read the titles? Or are they just going to look at the pictures? And so um, that's a, a lot of big ifs. But assuming all that is out of the way and you've got people to your site because your Google SEO is good, they land on your page. And for a fraction of a second, you know that they're interested in whatever they put in that search engine, basically. So they've landed on a ceramics page. And so you've got that sort of data. So here we are on a ceramics page, but because you've classified that page, you've then got some sort of something to work with. So all the other things you've got that, that um, are not there, you can put on that page automatically. So that page is automatically got, if it's a page about ceramics, uh, the content about ceramics is there because it's the ceramics page. That's easy. That's a traditional flat um, you know, article. But over here, you've got objects from the collections, on, on images from objects from the collections. And they are just basically, if this is about ceramics, give me six, eight, in fact, objects from the collections and link them up onto that page. So that's good. So down here, we have an events module. And give me any event that mentions ceramics. So if they're interested in ceramics, they might be interested in going to an event. And down here, we've got another module. And that's right. OK, give me all the products out of the shop that mention the word ceramics. So, and so they might be interested in ceramics. So they might just buy it. Now, in most cases, they come to the page, they look at the content, and they look at the content. And they ignore all that. And it's a bit invisible. But two thirds of the page is content. And one third is possibly other things you want. But none of that is a hierarchical menu. All of it is, we just know what you want. So it's incredibly user focused. So it's, we, we can't predict who you are, why you come to our website. But when you hit us, we do know a little bit about you. So let's just try and give you everything we can that's relevant to what you want.